is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. Dolphins could not score a perk. Not a perk. They couldn't do nothing. Okay, and Joe Flacco, even though he got injured because he left with a concussion, which, by the way, if you did not see this hit by Kiko Alonso, the linebacker of the Dolphins, number 47, uh, big smashing Jones hit, okay? Big time. I mean, drill city here. I mean, big time. I'm telling you. <laughs> Helmet comes flying off the whole nine yards. So we'll discuss this for a second. So someone's saying, ah, it's a dirty hit. I don't think it's a dirty hit. I don't think it's a dirty hit. And I'd like to get the other people on the Taz show here, their opinions, before I continue. I mean, actually, after I continue my diatribe, my opening monologue about this, because I don't think it was a dirty hit. Um, look, Joe Flacco is a hardcore competitor. He's a tough dude. People know that. University of Delaware quarterbacks, it's well documented how tough they are. That might be an exaggeration, but Joe Flacco is a tough guy. He's a tough competitor. He's going for the first down, guys. He's running full speed. This is a Thursday night game. It's the NFL. Only game in town on Thursdays. He's coming full throttle, trying to get a first down in the red zone, not to be confused with blood and wrestling. So he is running full speed, and then he sees Kiko Alonso coming like a freaking freight train. That's not a big, heavy guy, but he's fast, stealth, ripped, and nasty. Former Buffalo Bill, former Oregon Duck. I loved him when he played for the Bills. Number 50. I miss him. And Lordy B, son of a bitch bastard. My man Flacco goes to slide to get the first down. I mean, to, to avoid the hit because he, he came up short. He knew he wasn't going to get the first down. And Alonzo, if you're not a football fan, it don't matter. You got to watch this. He just unloads a forearm and shoulder right to the head of Flacco. Knocks his helmet off, and it was awkward to watch. Joe was... You could see without his helmet that he was in another world. Kind of looked like Dennis in between segments. That look. And um, before you could blink, um, Olsen, one of the offensive linemen, number 66 in the Ravens. What's his name, Olsen? Ryan Jensen. Jensen. He just drills Kiko Alonso while he's down. Because that's what happens. See, let me teach you people. The offensive linemen always protect the quarterback, even especially if there's a dirty hit. It's like in hockey. If someone takes a pop at a goalie, you see the other hockey defenseman beat the shit out of the guy. Am I not correct on that, Dennis? Yeah, you send out the goon. Yes. So, Jensen pops Alonzo. Next thing you know, now it's a melee, as they call it. Several guys are in fisticuffs, and it got nasty. The rest of the game was ultra chippy, AFC smash mouth style. All the way to the end, the, the Dominic Sue, Nebraska Cornhusker, he's always in the middle of something, but I like his style. He's a little nasty. Some say he's dirty. He's a big son bitch. He tried to choke slam the quarterback at the end of the game. I saw it. He ghouls at them. He Ryan Mallets, as they call him, back up by the Ravens. Please. Spitting knowledge out here. I think it was a, uh, a clean hit. I don't think it was a dirty hit. And I think he's going to get fined. I think Alonzo's going to get fined. He got a, an unsupposed like penalty. Uh, uh, but he, and he, if that was a college game, a D1 college football game, he would have been ejected from the game for targeting. He would have been ejected. Is there any dispute for anybody in this room on that? Absolutely not. Do you think it was a dirty hit or not? No, I don't think the intention was a dirty hit. It, it's a tough thing. This guy is running for the first down, and these quarterbacks know they could go to the last minute and then slide, and they're going to get 15-yard penalty against the defense. It's kind of unfair for the defense. I don't think people understand, even some of these play-by-play guys, if they never played sports or played football or played in a contact sport, when you're, to your point, when you are going full speed and you're in your adrenaline, I could only imagine the adrenaline going through Kiko Alonso's body or any NFL player as they see a guy's about to either get a first down or about to hit a guy. Dude, that shit is fucking amped up, okay? Your adrenaline. And you people just that never did this or never played a contact sport, I think, not to stereotype all of them, it's unfair, but I do think a bulk of people think that they, these guys should just turn it on off like, like a computer. I mean, like, okay, no, I'll stop running now. I'll, I'll stop my intent to completely fucking destroy you on worldwide TV to help my team stop you from getting a first down to score on us again. I'll just stop short because you slid now. 
because I can just do that with my body and my mind. Are you kidding me? That's not, it's physically impossible. And the emotions going through these guys as they, so you got to think about that, football fans. Football fans, I'm talking to you. When you see these guys do hits like this, don't get upset with them. Don't be mad at Kiki. Tell him his name, Alonzo. Oregon Ducks. He had the chrome helmet.